Once again, proof that basic cable standards are slipping. Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Slipping fast. Welcome back to x -Blade. Can't hardly wait special. Ooh. We're showing you the games that will rock your world in 2005. And then we're showing you what to play until they come out. And what, what episode of x -Blade would be complete without a Final Fantasy game? I am assuming that's a sarcastic rhetorical question. Mm. A sad one. Square announced Final Fantasy XII at E3. And from what we can tell, well, the cutscenes look good. Yippee! But of course, some of you can't wait until 2005 for this RPG to steal 40 irreplaceable hours of your life away. That's why we have Final Fantasy XI Online. Which can steal thousands of hours of your life away right now. Here's our review. Mm. I'm clashing your head. Final Fantasy XI marks a major departure for the Final Fantasy series. After 10 single-player RPGs, Square Enix has struck out into the massively multiplayer realm. After slogging my way through the clumsy interface, I'm ready to create my character. Let's see. Okay, not into this cutesy bootsy munchy cheat thing. I'll go with a hot cat girl. Yeah, that's normal. The world of Vanadeel is pretty standard fantasy. It's formerly pure, but now it's under siege by some kind of evil. Only you and thousands of other players can save the place from the rampaging hordes of orcs and other monsters. Like this, evil sheep. What? You've never seen evil sheep before? They're bad. Oh, sorry. Most of your time in Final Fantasy XI is spent killing things to gain experience, which will then let you level up so you can kill bigger things for more experience and level up some more. For instance, you can kill these bunnies easily. Leveling up your bunny slaughter seems like a great idea. Until you run into a bunny that can kick your ass just by thinking about it. There's no warning. You just die horribly at the hands of Uber Bunny and earn a nice experience penalty. Then you go out, and just as you get back to where you were before, here comes the murder machine with the motor in its nose again. Ah! Morgan! Yes? Ah! You do this. Okay. I'll just switch over to my white mage guy. Off we go. Okay, Adam isn't totally off base here. Final Fantasy XI's interface is awkward at first, and you do run into the occasional uber rabbit. However, there's plenty of good stuff too. It's certainly one of the prettiest massively multiplayer games around. The environments are incredibly detailed, and just wandering aimlessly is a treat. The character selection is slightly limited in the number of faces you can choose, so expect to see a lot of identical people around. Thankfully, the jobs and abilities you can earn are anything but limited. You start out with a main job, like warrior, white mage, and that kind of thing. Later, you can add on a sub-job, which lets you earn the abilities of another class. Final Fantasy XI encourages you to experiment with this. Switching jobs carries no penalty, and the game even rewards you for it eventually. You'll also notice a lot of Japanese players around. Final Fantasy XI has been online for a while in Japan. Not only is the game stable and smooth, but most people are experienced and really nice and helpful. See, if Adam would actually talk to people, he might enjoy this more. If you're not into the massively multiplayer thing, Final Fantasy XI probably isn't going to change your mind. But fans of this kind of game will find a lot to love here. Chalk up Final Fantasy XI as a 4 out of 5, bunnies and all. Well, I just lost three minutes of my life. Adam hates this theory because it takes this mythology seriously and gives millions of gamers a sense of emotional resonance. No, I've had more resonance watching an episode of Magnum P.I.